everyone today I'm planning on showing you how I um, make a wig cap for this is a bigger doll it's a 17 inch doll um, and this is a it's one of the Asda Sparkle Girl dolls but I'm just using it for the purposes of showing you how I would make her a wig cap that's the only reason I'm I'm doing it so I hope it's helpful to someone right so what I've done is I've cut her hair right down to right down as, as short as I can get it and now what I need to do is to get this extra hair out of her head and in, in order to do that I'm using a long pair of well, actually these are fishing tweezers yeah I got them from eBay so stick them into the neck of the doll and just scrape the inside of her head to get off all of the hair that's left inside there it doesn't feel too gluey and it is coming off pretty easily yeah so that's that's quite a good thing yeah so I'll, I'll get that finished and then come back okay so I've got the head all ready it's all clean there's no hair left in there now um and before I go ahead and make the wig and the wig cap I'm going to show you a few other things you could do to replace this doll's hair um the first thing you could do is to reroute her um and to do that you would you can either use hair uh, this is a I bought this um, what it is is a hair extension it's really long and it was three pounds from a, sh a shop in town and to me three pounds is not a bad price to pay for something you're just practicing with obviously you can buy better quality hair than that from eBay uh, but I wouldn't recommend doing that until you've had a practice because it is a really tedious and time-consuming job so yeah please think about that before you before you do it so anyway I've threaded the hair through a needle and you literally just thread it through through one of the holes in her head and then pull it out through her neck now the trouble is you can't always see the needle because the needles not as long as because this is a, a doll has a long neck so I'm gonna get my pliers in there and grab the grab the needle with my pliers and pull it through so then I would have a piece of hair rooted in the head yeah I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to that's not how I'm going to do it today another thing you could do is to use a rooting tool Now I did show this in my previous um, rerouting video now this is this is the handle of a scalpel or an exacto knife and what I've done is I've got a needle quite a thick this is an embroidery needle and I've cut the end of the needle at an angle. When you do this, make sure you do it carefully because you can, it can be, you'll soon end up with a bit of needle in your eye if you're not careful. You need to cut it at an angle like this so that one side of the needle eye is longer than the other and you have an, an opening, a gap. Yeah, and what you do is you pop the needle end into your exacto knife handle and close it up like so put your piece of hair over your finger like this and pick it up with your rerouting tool like so so I've now got the hair in my tool and then you literally just poke it into the doll's head find one of the holes and poke it in now I have found that these needles do break quite easily so you know you might need to stock up on them if that's what you're going to do um, and if you use this method, once you've got all the hair in, you then have to glue inside the doll's head to hold that hair in place, otherwise it'll just come out. Okay, so there's that. Um, also for rerouting, you can use wool. So I've got needle, a needle threaded with some wool. And you can either put it in from the inside like this and and come out of the doll's head I'm not going to do it because this is not how I'm going to do this doll today or you can go from the outside in and once you've pulled it through you would then tie a knot in the end so there's that you could I think you can do this with a rooting tool let's see how we get on it's a bit a bit thicker so I'm not sure yeah I think if you yeah I've got that in the rooting tool look so let's see if, if we can get it to go through a hole it might break the knee break the rooting tool though because it's 
no that has gone in there yeah that has gone in but again if you do do it like that you will have to glue it afterwards or else it'll just come come out another thing you could use instead of wool would be embroidery thread you could try using that yeah that's another thing right so that's that way another way you can do it is to glue the hair directly to the head glue the hair or the wool directly to the head um let me get my and to do this you you'd start at the bottom and for this i would go all the way round i'll show you how i'm going to do this when i get the wig cap on and made anyway go all the way round and then again all the way around until you get to the to the middle at the top and then you'll be finished so literally just put a bit of glue i'm just going to put a bit on just to show you put a bit of glue on the doll's head and glue your hair to it or glue your wool to it or whatever it is you're going to use and with this um with this um glue gun i have found that it's it it does stay on and it stays on well i have my um if anyone's seen my aerial doll that i did uh, she was actually rerouted with wool and it took me about three weeks to do it really took me ages and my hands were sore and i was sick of the sight of it by the time i'd finished so since i've done that i've never rerouted another doll because it, it just it takes far far too long and i use this method every time and look even though it will stay on it you can pull it off if you make a mistake so yeah that's because i'm not going to do it like that at the minute that will just peel peel off there yeah so if you wanted to you know if you'd done a hair like that and decided yeah i like it like that but i want some different hair you could just pull it off and start again right so now we get on to the how i'm going to do it and that is to to make a wig cap and i'm going to glue on because right you don't have to glue on hair you can glue on wool um and i would cut you cut your wool into strands so that you've got a few strands together like that and I would I would glue that on rather than just gluing it one strand at a time otherwise you'll be here all day with this thin wool anyway yes yeah, so I'd put my bit of glue and I'd glue that on hold it till it was dry and then carry on all the way round until I'd got enough on yeah but the way I'm going to do it today is to show you how to actually make a wig so the first thing we need to do is put a put a bag on her head yeah try and get the clear part of the bag like so so I've got a bag on her head and then once you've got your bag in position how you want it you then sellotape over the bag use your sellotape and you need to put sellotape everywhere you want the hair to go it doesn't matter if it gets a bit rooked up that's fine as long as you've got tape all the way where you want the hair to go and you can see where this doll's hairline was so just go all the way around with your sellotape making sure to cover that whole whole area it doesn't matter if you get you know a couple of layers of sellotape it doesn't matter I've seen this done on YouTube I couldn't tell you where I've seen it done but I've seen it done and that's why I use this method because I've seen it done and and I know it works because I've done it for a few of my dolls before so yeah keep that pulled tight you could actually put a band around there couldn't you that might be a good idea and just everywhere you want the hair to be you want sellotape to be so all the way around and you don't have to use a glue gun to glue your hair on you can use other glue but using other glue you have to wait for it to dry and that's what yeah that would take a lot longer to do i i like this method because it's quick it works yeah it's quick and effective and it suits me down to the ground because i hate rerouting dolls hair it takes forever yeah so now i'm just going up over the rest of her head to make sure i've covered up all of the all of the bag with my sellotape because this is what will form the wig cap when we glue the hair on with a glue gun the heat from the glue gun will then form a wig cap you wouldn't get that if you used other glue 
if you gluing but if you're gluing the material the wall or the hair directly to the head you could use different glue to do that you don't have to use a glue gun yeah so like I say it doesn't matter if you've got a few layers just make sure you cover up the whole of the head with sellotape so you've got no no patches that haven't got sellotape on like I say the glue gun melts the sellotape and forms the wig cap. So I'm now just going around in like a rosette and making sure I've got it all, got it all covered. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've got that all covered now with sellotape, although that does feel like there's a bit there. We'll stick an extra bit on there just to be on the safe side. Better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, so just go around and check that you've covered the whole of the whole of the bit you want to put hair on. Okay, so that's my wig cap made. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sellotape. I'm going to not sellotape. I'm going to put a, uh, a couple of bands around this bag at the bottom just to hold it on so I can manoeuvre it a bit better while I'm putting the hair on. So now I'm going to then, I've got my glue gun, I've got, this is the wool I'm going to use, this is quite thick wool and I'm going to cut it into lengths to see how long the hair is going to be. So cut a few lengths ready. You can always cut it straight when you're finished, so just, you know, just roughly get it ready. So here we are, and here's what I'm going to do. Blob of glue, and stick the hair, and I'm going to stick it on as if it's coming straight out from the head. If you do it this way, you'll be able to style it more or less any way you want to. And that's the beauty of using thick hair. It's easy to stick on. Yeah, literally just glue the end of the hair to the head all the way around. And we will literally just keep doing that until I've covered her whole head. I'll just keep going round in a circle until I get to the to the middle bit there, and then I'll have her whole head covered. Yeah. So that's that. So I'll come back to you when I've got a bit more done. Well, I'll come back to you when I've yeah when I've got a bit more done. Okay. So we've got a bit further. I've gone all the way round her head once, making sure to go above her ears and round them. Yeah. So that's one. And if you wanted to have her hair in a ponytail. If you wanted your wig to be a ponytail wig, you could really almost get away with just putting that much hair on because this wool is so thick. Yeah, couldn't you? You could. Well, maybe maybe you could do one more row, but yeah, you you don't have to fill in the whole scalp if you're going to have a ponytail. If you're going to have a a certain style, you can just put enough hair in to cover to cover that style. Yeah, so I'm going to continue now to add more rows until I get all the way to the middle and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I'm getting a bit further. I'm getting nearer and nearer to the middle. But I thought I'd just give you another little show at how I do it. And the, the aim is to glue all of this um, sellotape and bag combination because this is what will harden and, and um, form your wig cap. So this is how I'm doing it. I'm getting three strands of my wool that I'm using ready in one hand like so then I'm putting my glue onto my patch of wig that I'm going to put it on spreading it out and then I'm popping the hair on now 
when you're doing this with hot glue please do be careful because it does it does burn yeah I, I've got leathery hands so I can stand it but especially children doing this you shouldn't do it without adult supervision it's not I mean it's not a very good tutorial really to for a child to do but yeah and then I'm going out just going over over the bit that I've done with a bit more glue just to glue it in place like that and just to reinforce it a bit so you can see all I'm doing that all the way around I'm going to keep going till I get right to the top and then I'll be done okay okay so I'm at the very last bit now I've just got the, the like the crown of her head to do so what I'm going to do I've got my strands of wool and I've put them all together like this and I've made them all I've chopped the ends so that they're all level and I'm going to glue them straight to a head like this not at an angle but but straight down onto her head so that I can style her hair properly and she won't have any bald patches so blob of glue in the middle there on that bit that's not got any glue on make sure you put plenty of glue on yeah and rub it round that's it then hold that on and please be careful because ouch I've done nothing but burn my fingers all day I'm silly I shouldn't you shouldn't really do it with your fingers you should use a tool to do it with like um for example the, the end of your tail comb that would be a good idea wouldn't it instead of burning the skin off my fingers yeah and please remember any young children doing this please do not do it without adult supervision glue guns are very hot and can cause um, nasty burns so please don't do it how I'm doing it because you'll end up burnt I've got burns all over my hands from doing this and it's it's really silly so yeah okay so now I've done the crown of a head and as you can see comes out a treat doesn't it yeah okay so now the moment of truth will the wig cap work let's see so I've done all that and I can because of, of the way I've glued her hair on I should be able to style it in any sort of way that I want really you know it's um she should be able to have it in a ponytail or yeah she could have it in two ponytails it doesn't look too bad you could always like cross over bits to hide the gluey bits couldn't you like that anyway let's get this wig cap off so remember what we did we put a bag on her head covered the bit we wanted to be the wig cap in sellotape and then we have glued can you see that are you left with a, a hard bit inside there can you hear that yeah and I'm just going to trim off this excess plastic and what we should be left with is a wig that fits her perfectly because it has been made to measure um and also you can use this method on on any size doll head uh, um I've done it on monster highs um you can do it on lives, any doll really that needs new hair. The next thing I'm going to do is to do a brat doll. But I'm at, what I'm going to do with the brat doll is, rather than make her a wig, I'm going to glue the the hair directly to her head because I'm not planning on on changing that hair. But I did say I would do a tutorial on how to make a a wig for a, a bigger doll, and so that's what I've done. I can't quite remember who asked me to do it but anyway it's done I hope that it's helpful to whoever asked me how to do it but just don't do what I've done and burn yourself <laughs> yeah yes yeah, so I'm just trimming all very carefully trimming that plastic away you don't have to use blue plastic of course clear plastic would have been better but in my usual style Yep, so that's her done. 
Now, where how does it go? That's the back part, and it it really does fit to a tree. And if you wanted to, you could glue it glue it onto a head because it would just peel off when you're done, wouldn't it? Yeah, and then you just need to style her hair how you want it. If you wanted to have a fringe, just cut cut her in a fringe. She can have a side parting. She can have a an updo. She can have whatever you want. So there she is. Doesn't she look fabulous? Really happy with her. She's come out really well. I'm really pleased with that wig cap too. Like I say, in order to hold the wig cap on, you, you do need to either pop a, a blob of glue in there and glue it to her head, or you could put in some uh, double-sided Velcro and Velcro it to her head. Yeah. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? A bit of Velcro would just hold that in place. Yeah. I'm sure what's oh there we are. Yeah, and like I say, if you wanted her to have a fringe, you could just cut her a fringe in. Yeah. She can have a ponytail, she can have whatever you whatever you want. Yeah. And like I say, this method can be applied to smaller size heads too. So I hope you get some tips from that. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.